Hello, my lovelies. Hi, guys. Hello, my friends. Let's see that the notice goes out. Has it gone out? Anybody there yet? <clears throat> Anybody there yet? Yet. <laughs> Let's see. Um, okay. Strange. I think there is already some people on, but I can't see anybody. see anybody guys when you join me just say hi to me and let me know that you're watching for some reason i cannot see on on my screen up there so if i am not answering you i'm not ignoring you guys but i cannot see anything at the moment i cannot see anything at the moment so just keep posting Keep saying hi to me. I'm happy that you're there, but I can't see any comments, guys. So I'll be happy when you keep talking to me, put your questions in. Um, I will come back to them later and um, we go from there. Okay, for those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner and creative energy from Elton and Helden. I'm an elite retailer for Dixie World Paints over here in Frankfurt, in Germany. So welcome, welcome to Europe. And um, I'm working on this little sideboard and we have a fun challenge in the World of Chalk Paint group um, sponsored by Dixiebel, where you can win any of our favorite um, boxes, uh, meaning as uh, content creators in that group, um, we all put like a, a box together with our favorite products. And the challenge is that we use the, the favorite products from somebody else. So the products I'm using on here are the fave products from Diane from Vintage Finders Warehouse. And um, she's chosen the Blue Moon, which is absolutely my color, blue. Everybody who knows me knows I like blue. Moonbeam. And everybody who knows me knows that I only use white when I mix colors or when I do some decoupage. So this time I'm using it for painting. So that's certainly a challenge for me. And she also has in there sea spray, which is right up my street. I love sea spray. I love texture. I love using that product for several, whatever. You can do so many things with it. And then there will be some gold. There's some gold gilding wax in that box. So this is basically the box you can win from her. You have to go over into the group. I will post the link in here later um, where, where you can find it. Uh, it is open worldwide. So wherever you are, also in Europe, you can win one of your you know favorite products. You know, when you choose your favorite box, you would like to win. And that's the fun idea. So, okay. Um, I think I already asked in the German life before on top here, I will do a little bit of stenciling also. And the question is, would you like to see the Rachel lettuce stencil, which is this one? Or would you like to see the Harlequin stencil, which is that one? So, um, post it in there. I will check on my phone if there's any, um, comments and things like that. Strange, strange, strange. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get confused. So I'm not ignoring you guys. I just can't see, still can't see any comments. So you may also sprinkle that video. So you can see over here, we've already done our second code, which is right opposite to what we have here. This is the first code where I've used the 
um, blue moon and the moonbeam bows together with sea spray. I mix those up with sea spray. Terra clay paints, um, for those who don't know the paints, they are clay based paints. So they um, behave a little different than chalk mineral paints or chalk paints. They are firstly not self leveling, meaning you can already uh, create texture just with your brush, which is fantastic if you want to have texture. They are, as I said, not self leveling. If you're going for a very smooth finish, you should use the chalk mineral paints or the silk paints. They are self leveling. You have, you know, a really smooth finish. Um, for blending, the chalk mineral paints are wonderful. Also, I love them. They come in 69 colors. The terra clay paints come in 18 colors. And as I said, I've already, you know, to get even more texture, added sea spray to it. And the idea is, as you can see, the colors are opposite around. I'm going to come over with my second coat now, just with the terra clay paints. And i um, going to reveal then some of the, the layers underneath. That's the idea. So I have my clay paints and I already had them open. I'm just gonna, I don't wanna contaminate the container even more. Already done that pretty much so, but just wanna do that a little. So, Moonbeam. I can see you laughing, <laughs> me painting in white. I don't think I've ever done that. I've tried it once and it turned out all pastelli. So <laughs> that's, um, that's the way it is. And then we have the blue moon. So careful. Already done that last week. That was probably a little much. No, oh, never mind. Probably a little much. Did I mention I'm a messy painter? Who's with me? <laughs> Who's with me? Who else is a messy painter? So I hope I'm on. I guess I'm on. I guess I'm on. Guys, if you, as I said, you know, keep posting, keep saying hi to me. I cannot see comments at the moment. So I will, you know, come back later and check for your questions and stuff like that. If you watch replay, put hashtag replay into the comments and let me know that you've been watching. This is my best thing brush I just used before. I just had it um, um, wrapped in in a damp baby wipe and a damp cloth just to make sure I'm not, um, it's the paint doesn't dry in there. Okay, I'm going to start. I have my mister bottle just with water. This is plain water in here and I'm just going to give it a little bit of a spritz. I'm going to start at the bottom with the, um, with the, just going to clean that off a little. There's still quite a bit of paint in there. I want to start with blue moon, the darker color from the bottom. You can see how much paint there is still in. So, spritz of water. And I'm just going to slip that on here now. You can see there's still quite a lot of, this is not, I mean, the one of the, the uh, lovely things from the terra clay paints is as long they are not sealed, you can reactivate um, the paints anytime with water, which gives you a very long open time to change your to basically change your um, look you're going for. But as they're still, I'm just using one brush. Also quite a lot of the, a lot of the moonbeam of the white in here, it is, you know, still mixing. It's not re reactivating the paint underneath like that at the moment, so don't worry. This is confusing me, guys. Always something new, isn't there? 
always something new. So I don't need a full coverage. As I said, I want to have a little darker, so I'm just dabbing it on here. Swirling, I'm mixing that a little more. As I said already in my German life for um, blending, there's different techniques. And I'm stiffening it at the moment because I don't want to have too much of the white coming out of my brush right now. So from the top, I'm going to come in with my blue beam. As I said, I'm going to paint in white. Yes, I will. On the other side, I've done more of the swirly motion because the brush was pretty clean when I started. And even those colors are pretty far apart from each other, they do blend beautifully. So now I'm grabbing my, that was a bit much, I think. That was a bit much of the, of the, let's see. Moonbeam, would I be all right? Just gonna get into this edge here. I don't want to have wood showing through. If you want to do that, of course, this is you know up to each one's taste. I don't want it, so I want to give it at least and in those areas where I haven't. Um, I haven't um, covered in my first coat the wood, I will do that. This piece was prepared, I cleaned it with white lightning and uh, bossed it as it is a heavy bleeder. Boss is a stain blocker and a smell blocker and this piece was standing in, well, the owner died away couple of years ago and the furniture in there was actually standing I hate bristles I hate pris bristles I hate bristles on my projects and it was standing in an unheated house for about one and a half years which um, didn't do the furniture any good obviously it was um, Developed some mildew and things. So I do like those colors together. I have to admit, um, I mean, Diane, she is an excellent um, retailer and artist, and she has an excellent taste. So, but still, this was pretty much of a challenge for me to come in this white. So the areas, I want to have it a little lighter. When you feel the paints dry on you, just use a little more water. Clean your brush in between. Use different brushes if you prefer. For that look I'm going for, I, you know, I quite like to have, have it mixed like this. So that's basically how I like to have it. I keep checking on there because it doesn't need to be similar to the other side. This is going to be like wavy, changey. Um, okay, so that's for that. And now we're gonna go to the side. I'm going to move everything around. I'm going to see what I'm moving. If I move you or if I move my furniture. Um, let's see, right there. I'm gonna get messy now, so I'm just going to close my lids for now. I've made a right mess again. Oh, I am terrible. I am. 
I really am terrible. On the side, there's already the second coat on. There's already the second coat on. And this is then the next step we're going to do. Smurf hands. And smurf hands. So I'll grab my phone in a minute and check for um, for any comments, guys. It's not displaying here, so I'm not ignoring you, but uh, I can't see anything at the moment. It's one of those moods of our beloved Debbie. One of those moods. Oh. Paint on the floor. Bring it a little down. So on this side. We already have the second coat on and as i said it's gonna get messy now i'm just going to put my brush i'm gonna let that dry at the front so i'm not going to use my heat gun or anything i'm going to let that dry we'll still have a couple of steps to go so that's there now you also know I'm not using very often um, something like this, but I'm going to use it now. To for that look I'm going for, you can um, you can also sand it down. I'm using my scraper or spatula, metal spatula, and I'm just going to go over it to reveal some of the areas underneath so now it starts making sense why i had like um contrasting colors as i said you can you know sand it if you prefer to sand it it is a messy part you know because there's stuff coming off on the floor so and at the same time because I didn't um, I didn't come in to smooth some of the very high peaks down from the sea spray. And with this I'm basically also knocking off. And I'm keeping it in a pretty um, flat angle to the piece because I don't want to dig into it. And this is supposed to have like a warm look at the end. You can basically do that up to a stage where you like to have that. If you want to reveal some wood, reveal some wood. And you just got to dig a little deeper. I try to avoid that. I don't want to have wood seen through. Just going around the areas. There's a bristle. Did I mention I hate bristles? Let's see if I can take them out. I didn't place the sea spray all over. I had it a little smooth and some areas and a little um, more built up in other areas. In here it is pretty smooth. Here um, I went a little more heavy with it. So at the bottom part, you want to see that a little better actually, because the contrast is even higher. 
get the wipe back out. Bit noisy, I'm sorry. dries very hard as you can see. basically the look I'm going for I still can't see comments guys I'm sorry so I'm happy that you're there I cannot see what you're posting I'm going to check on my phone in a second I hate bristles I mean, even it's textured, but I uh, don't want to have any bristles on here. Cat hairs and bristles. I do miss my cat's painting, but uh, I don't miss their... So, stop it. That's fine. I'm happy with that. So that's the look I'm going for basically in those areas. So here you can see that's basically what came off. Just going to put that on here. There's <laughs> still enough paint on there also. So I'm just going to check on my phone, guys. See if um see just turn the volume down if anybody is there or if i'm painting alone ah oh, hi jill hi nina mm, hallo liebe heike yeah i see euch leider nicht hi donna thank you guys for being with me i'm so happy you're there so but i can't see comments on my on my screen here so all right guys um mm, Oh, oh, I hope he'll be all right. I hope he'll be all right. Oh, I can see some hearts. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Okay. Um, again, I cannot see. Do you want to see the on top the Harlequin stencil or do you want to see the retro lattice? Just let me know. Just let me know. Just let me know which ones you want to see. Well, I can't see. It's strange. There's no comments up here. No, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Mm. Just let me know. Retro lattice or Harlequin? Mm. Mm. 
the lattice changes into the harlequin. Okay, that's another option. That's another option. Hmm. How am I going to do that? <laughs> oh God, I mean, painting white is already a big challenge for me. And uh, now we are, you are challenging me even more. All right. So um, let me think. Let me think. Hey, Kaiki. <laughs> And doing that live, okay? <laughs> I do my very best. Okay. Uh, come on, let's get out. I'm going to move that thing around. I'm going to move that thing around. So now you're going to see that one is almost finished up there. It's got its handles back on. I've painted it on the inside. I have my angel wings is going over the side here. Can you see that? The legs are on. My sweetheart helped me to put the legs on. Now you can see there's the heart going over the side and the wings hand painted everything. So let's bring you down. It's only paint, guys. If I mess it up, I can start all over again. Well, then um, I don't exactly need my middle. I'm just going to start in some areas. I'm just going to start in some areas. I don't want to have a full coverage either. And I'm going to go then. How am I going to do that? How am I going to do that? I'm just going to start somehow. <laughs> I get. Ah. <clears throat> Hi, Manhase. Let us for a change. Ah, okay. <laughs> Now I know what you mean, but that would, would have been interested, uh, interesting also. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to have it too. I prefer just one stencil on top, actually, guys. So, um, yeah, I'm going to use the lettuce and I'm going to line it up in the middle. I've already marked me myself the middle. Yes, I've done some markings, which is pretty unusual for me also but 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 so yeah 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 Heike <laughs> bin manchmal ein bisschen dusselig <lacht> das hätte auch eine schöne Sauerei gegeben glaube ich aber das probiere ich trotzdem irgendwann aber vielleicht nicht unbedingt gleich im Live <lacht> so um, and I'm going to tape a little off on the side. There will be a little gap, just like a little, 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 little gap. And I'm not sure if the stencil is going to line up on the, it's going to line up on the, sorry, I've got a, it's going to line up on the, On the ends that's why i'm going to start in the middle but i should have made some markings on here so let's see that like that so that it looks pretty similar at the end that's that's my idea of taping the edge off because the stencil is not gonna go right to the end what I don't really need. If I want to have it, I still can decide if I don't like it, but I'm not going to go for, um, I'm not going to go for a, for a covered, completely covered look anyway. 
So, and I'm also going to, I'm also going to tape my stencil down because I don't want it to move around too much. You can use um, a spray adhesive. When you do that, make sure it dries a couple of seconds because otherwise you will, it'll get, um, it'll get muddy. So this is pretty much the middle inside here. And that's pretty much the middle down here, which is pretty easy to see on those stencils to find the middle. So that's fine. I'm going to need my 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 paper roll. I'm using I'm using I'm using Moonbeam for that, and I'm using my um, brush. I just my best time brush. I just used on the sides. So I'm just going to clean that off. A little. But it doesn't need to be like completely. So I'm just going to, uh, I, need, I need another hand guys. I need another hand. So I'm just dipping it in here. The best thing brush is for, um, raised uh, for raised stenciling is for um stenciling really good because it's flat so i'm just moving it in here a little so and then i'm just gonna go get an irregular look even so I'm just stippling it down for now and then gently swirling I have hardly you know when you do that make sure you have hardly any paint on your on your brush because otherwise you push the the paint under your stencil And it'll be heavier in some areas and not as heavy in some other areas. It'll be blotchy. Which is completely fine for this look I'm going for. So the top is painted in Blue Moon. Top is painted in blue moon. And I've sealed it with Terra Seal, which is like similar to the similar to the top coat in flat. So let's see if I like that. I'm not sure I will. I'm going to lift that up and I'm going to move to pinnacle. That's fun. That is fun. So I'm going to. Um, Come to the side here to line that back up. To line that back up. Yeah, and there's exactly what I thought will happen because it's not going to go right up to the side. I'm going to have like basically one more. Thing to go. Let's see. Move you a little round. Instagram. 
you can see pick up some more of my of my moonbeam which is the white offload it i'm right offloading it and then i'm gonna first dab it on to release some of the brush probably need a little more paint i think i'm just gonna go just gonna go for it Oops, fading out to the sides, absolutely fine. So it's perfectly with that look. And this is still just with that little ahead in that brush, guys. It is ever so. That brush holds ever so much paint. And as I said, don't do the swirly motion when you have a lot of paint on there. I have hardly any paint on here as I like to, you know, have don't want to have like a full a full coverage. Still, I'm gonna get a little more and out of breath. I'm gonna check for your comments in a second, guys. So, check for the comments in a second. So. Oh, don't want to have it too blotchy. Can be a little blotchy, but not too blotchy. So, don't like this area here. Let's see. So, lift it up careful. Lift it up careful. So, now we have like a little left on the side here. I'm just going to place this right over the other go there we go And there we go. I'm going to have it fade out, I think. Let me think. I'm not um, grabbing more paint. I'm just using what's left in here. Have it fade out to the side here. Yeah, quite like that. What do you think? What do you think? I think I'm gonna go a little. can see a little um, unevenness. There's too much. Um, there's too much. Where I've lined those up. And now I'm a perfectionist, guys. Even this is not a perfect. Um, this is not a perfect 
look but just those areas here they look a little more matched up in this area That's it. That's how I like it. Now it's it looks more even. There was like you could see the line here. There I've lined that up before. So do the same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side. And messed up my tape by now. Let's see. I'm actually going to do it that way now. I am going to. This should avoid it all over. That I'm going to tape that down here. I'm not a fan of this exact um, measuring and taping and things like that, but let's see. Um, where's my brush? Nobody use. Where is my brush? There is my brush. Okay. Anybody still with me, guys? Anybody still with me? So, picked up some more. And you know, when I rub it on here like that, I'm moving it into the brush and offloading at the same time. I'm gonna go right here now. So This is more a dry brush than anything else. I may, may even send it down a little just to reveal a little more of the blue underneath. The brush is really dry now, you can tell. Oops, I need a little more. More paint, more paint. paint. Don't forget the offloading, because otherwise you'll have far too much. You need hardly any paint. There is like basically nothing in here. It's still enough to offload. No pressure coming in with no pressure. Just sliding over the surface ever so gentle. And the nice thing is, as I've built up before, as I said, the terra clay paints are not self-leveling. So you're building up texture with your brush. And this is now also nicely where, as this is like almost dry brushing, where the, um,
where the paint is basically Ooh, I like that. I do like that. I do like that. Last bit. Last bit. Get that out of the way for a sec. You can line it up easily. Easily, easily with the other patterns. So I'm not worried about the paint because this is, you know, this is almost dry. This is almost dry. Oops. Grab some more paint. Load it. And off we go. Not touching the surface. After touching the surface and it almost fade out to the side here. So and if I feel that some areas need to be touched up or something like that, I can always realign the stencil and go from there. I am happy with that to the side, it's gonna go into some water in a second. So, I'm just going to take, oops, take the tape off here. What do you think, guys? What do you think? So, I'm quite happy with that. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, oh, oh. Grab my phone, check for some comments, guys. Hi, hallo Andrea. Ich muss am Telefon gerade schauen, weil ich wie gesagt ähm, hier keine, keine ähm, Kommentare sehe. Ja. Quite like that. Da war mein, habe ich mit Kreide mir die Mitte markiert gehabt. Das kann ich jetzt wieder wegnehmen. Und ähm, ja, so ein paar Geschichten. nicht so mag. Die Schablone, die hat so ähm, Punkte, die es erleichtert, die zu anleihen. Die nehme ich mir gerade mal wieder weg, die brauche ich nicht mehr. Das ist auch das Schöne bei den Terras. Wasserbasiert, das nicht jederzeit reaktivieren und das funktioniert super gut. Okay, um, an der Seite, da, uh, there, I'm sorry, I'm confused now. Yeah, still, I want to do a little bit of dry brushing there when I find my premium chip brush. Because this is this is a trim. This is the Goodie Band trim 118 I've used on there. And I'm just gonna do some dry brushing there. I have my premium chip brush. Just grab a little of my white paint again. I'll load it. You wanna have hardly any paint on here either. Oh, that was not much. That 
was not enough a little more i can use a little more these rows too far away that's it here we go basically just to enhance those details and here this is still drying that's what we've just done those sides and the front we are going to do i'm going to do when that's dry the same thing what we've done on the sides to scrape basically the high peaks off and reveal the colors underneath and then i'm basically good to go i think good to go On the legs down here, a little more paint. I was gonna check if you see. And that's the way I also do like the white using white which is not usual for me so guys thank you so much for being with me i'm going to check now if i missed anybody guys i'm so grateful that you've been with me tonight um i'm sorry this i can you know i've got my phone here now so i can see some comments there i couldn't see them when you were on my screen up there me recording i'm going to check for some questions later also mm. yes that's right it gives a little bit more of a modern wipe mm -mm -mm -mm. okay guys thank you so much for your patience not talking to you um not mentioning you things like that i like that sense though. that looks fantastic Thank you for being with me. For those who don't know me, my name is Angela. I'm the owner of Creative Energy from Edelman Helden, a light retailer for flexible paints over here in Frankfurt in Germany. If you have any questions, you may contact me. If you watch replay, potential replay into the comments that I know that you've been there. You can contact me directly, write your questions in the, in the comments and uh, I'll be right there for you. Thank you so much, my friends. Have a lovely evening, a lovely weekend. I hope you have something lovely planned. Look after yourself and I'm going to see you next week. Ta-da. Bye-bye.